All the U.S. presidential candidates are in Iowa in advance of tomorrow's caucus. Democracy is not simple in the U.S. This is just the first of many votes in the 2016 election cycle. And this state is crucial because it is a good predictor of what will happen in November. As Arthi Pohl reports, a good showing is vital. Think you may get out in caucus for Hillary? There's no way to escape it. Everywhere you turn in Iowa, it's a political circus. We have a chance to do something so great. Make America great again. This is the men and women of Iowa, the time to make a decision. Republicans and Democrats. We will win the caucus on Monday night if there is a large voter turnout. So please go out and stand up for me on Monday night. Sprinting in their final lap before Iowans start voting for who they want to represent their party in November's presidential election. It goes with the feeling of who I think is going to be the right guy to lead us where we need to be. Just a gut feeling in terms of who will be the best, who do the best job moving forward. The investment in Iowa can be crucial. It's the first time votes are cast and the first indicator of each candidate's ability to mobilize their supporters to head to the polls. It can be a gauge on whether presidential hopefuls had the momentum for the long haul. If candidates don't do well in Iowa, electoral and financial support may start to disappear. Hi, Iowa. I'm Ivanka Trump. To get first-time caucus goers out, Trump enlisted the help of his daughter. It's a secret ballot. You just write down the name Trump and you are done. Cruz and Sanders are also mobilizing their armies. And Hillary is deploying her daughter and husband to help win votes. I am so uh, proud to support my mom. A true test in the art of persuasion. The latest polls show the top candidates on both sides are neck and neck. Trump and Cruz within 5% of each other. Clinton leads Sanders by just 3%. And in Iowa, the tiebreaker happens Monday night. Arthi Pohl, Global News, Washington.